Hi, this is Kent with ChillerMode.com, and lately I've been knocking out a lot of art on leather, on shoes mostly, but some belts and stuff like that. But I'm going to tell you today what markers I've found to be my favorite and keep it simple, where to get them, and why to use them. Old people tend to like, feel like they have to take a community college course and be told exactly what to do and how everything works, but life's not that way. There's a million markers out there, and if you find something that works for you, go for it. I'm just fine going to show you what I found to work great. Malato One for All paint pens, acrylic paint pens. You can get them on Amazon, Prime, stuff like that, but sometimes they're hard to find. You have to buy one thickness from one company or one person, one thickness from another, and then you can't always find them together. Cut to the chase. Go to DickBlick.com. Just order all your pens from Dick Blick. They're awesome. They have all the colors, all the shapes, all the sizes. If you're not in a small market and you're a big city, I recommend you go to your local art support. Uh, I recommend you go to your local art store, shop local. And we're gonna start out with the two millimeter. This is why I always start all my projects with the thickest thin. The thickest line I'm gonna use is what I start all my projects with. So we'll put something on here and you'll see kind of how thick that is. These come in four millimeter also, but like I said, I like the two millimeter. I don't think the four millimeter really appear to be double the thickness. I'm not gonna bore you to death with my skulls. Then I switch over to my thin line, which is, they call it a 1.5, but if you Google it, or you're on Amazon, sometimes it's listed as a one mil, one millimeter. Then I go in, and you'll see that's like perfect uh, as far as line contrast, weight. Well, I don't know what perfect is. You know what I'm saying? It's just a demo. There we go. Let's put some fangs or teeth. Skulls don't have teeth, but we'll kind of put those lines. Okay, there's the marker demo. And here's a finished product. I was a boring shoe, now I'm awesome. Okay, now you know everything you need to know to get started on putting some art on shoes. All you need is some shoes now. So, you know, I recommend maybe, well, I don't recommend. Let's just pretend I recommended pair out of your parents' closet or your spouse's closet or maybe you spend the night at your friend's house and they fall asleep early. Um, they'll appreciate it. They'll love it. They'll be like, man, you made my shoes awesome. And all you had was two Malato one for all paint pens, a thick and a thin. You're amazing. Send us, go to the website, chillamode.com. Send us any feedback, any questions or thoughts you might have. There's a contact form, makes it easy. And uh, yeah, have fun.